Hey everybody, the UU, the Yusuke is here for my ROH wrestling review. This is my first ROH review. I'm probably gonna do ROH, Raw, and like NXT. That's like mostly what matters, like Impact and all that shit. I do watch it, but I don't really want to review it. So, I'm gonna be doing it with some anime in the background. This game is so anime. Of course, we're going to be using fucking Yusuke. The only reason I paid 60 fucking dollars for this game. You want to know why? Because fuck it. Vegeta. So, yeah. ROH was good tonight, you know. Uh, probably their weakest show since they uh, got to... Since they got, like, on a channel I can fucking watch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll pick Madara. Who cares? I finished. Yeah, so they started off with the Blood Bound Warriors. I've never seen these guys ever in my life. The Blood Bound Warriors, so. I was like, okay. Versus the Briscoes. Them boys right there, man. The Briscoes are the shit. Jay Briscoe is probably one of my favorite people, too. Man up. To, uh, man up. So, the Bloodbound Warriors are fucking in. I don't fucking know. I don't remember anything about Hunter x Hunter. So, yeah. Briscoes go over, of course. Briscoes are always over. Frog Splash Elbow by uh, Mark Briscoe. I fucking love that move so much. Briscoes win. The fucking, um... The Decade comes out to talk some bullshit. Fucking Jay Briscoe on the mic is fucking awesome, man. That guy is so legit. Like, I always tell people, if there is, like, a guy that... Mark Briscoe would literally scare the fuck out of me if I saw him in the street. Like, that guy looks like a fucking murderer. And it's good. Like, it works for him. You scare your meshy, bitch! Scatter! It works for the dude. Like, he's on the mic. I love him because, like, he's himself. He's not trying to play a character. He's just fucking Mark Briscoe. So, yeah, Mark Briscoe, I mean, uh, Jay Briscoe, I mean, the whole time. Mark's okay. He's just a crazy caveman guy, redneck him foo. But Jay Briscoe's the fucking shit. So, next segment, we got House of Truth coming out. House of Truth is awesome. Uh, they got Mini Batista up in the house. I think his name's like Diesel or something. Not the one with the glove, you know. If you have a glove, I'll pound your hand. If you don't, well, fuck you. Kevin Nash, man. I love fucking Kevin Nash. Ooh, my anime is up. So, yeah, How the Truth comes out with um, Donovan Dijak to, uh, versus Roderick Strong. Uh, I haven't seen too much of Dijak because, like, I'm weird with ROH. I, used, I watched ROH back in 2009 because uh, once I saw Kevin Steen and, like, Al Generico and all those people, they got me into it. And Roddy Strong, who is still here, which is sad. Roddy Strong should really be fucking in WWE. That guy's fucking amazing. Oh, shit. Sasuke. So, yeah. Uh, Diamond Dijak, that's the thing. I, I wasn't really too impressed with him. I thought he had a, like, sick finisher, but I'm like, that's all I really knew. I'm like, oh, it's the guy with the really awesome finish, but he's like, okay. But he really impressed me in this fucking match. Like, he went out there, and he, he's fucking kept up with Roddy Strong, who's, like, having the best year of his fucking career, I would say. Fucking Sasuke. Sasuke. I love you too, Sasuke. That's the problem. Spear gun, spear gun, spear gun, spear gun. So yeah, Dijak impressed me with some move that uh, discus fucking bro, uh, bicycle kick was fucking amazing. I've always been a big fan of that move, but, but no one hits it better than fucking Cashizono, you know, Chris he bro. So match is awesome. Roger Strong wins with the fucking sick kick. Oh my god. I still remember that time, the first time I saw Roddy Strong. It's when he first got with the fucking, um, the House of Truth. So, sick kick all day. And then, um, Roddy Strong gets attacked by the champion, the House of Truth. And then fucking, um, War Machine comes out to make the save. And I love War Machine, man. Hansen is the shit. It, it, it is a crime. Oh, man, that big is that good. It's crazy. His match with fucking AJ Styles. Everyone needs to look up that match. That match is fucking amazing. Won't get ready for it. Fire! <laughs> so, yeah, that was awesome. 
They were setting up to the whole reunion of Future Shock. Funny thing, uh, Future Shock is probably one of the last things I started watching about Rage until like I, it kind of went away from me because of HDNet. And then I'm like, okay. But Future Shock is fucking awesome. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly. Even though I always knew Adam Cole was going to be the star. I, I, even though I'm a bigger Kyle O'Reilly fan. Just because I think Kyle O'Reilly is basically the reincarnation of Daniel Bryan. He's that good. I love his martial arts gimmick and shit and all that shit he does. I love his kicks, his punches. Adam Cole is just solid and always fucking amazing. Versus the addiction. Christopher Daniels. The K-A-Z Kazarian. Oh, sorry. The almighty Christopher Daniels. Daniels coming out in the sergeant clothes slash general. It was fucking awesome. I was like, what the fuck? So this match for the tag team titles. The addiction picks up the win with the interruption of the kingdom. The kingdom comes in. Matt Taven and fucking Michael Bennett. Which is a fucking shame. Chris Bennett, I mean, Michael Bennett is not in the fucking um, WWE. That guy's like, is WWE. I remember when he first debuted and everyone just fucking hated him. Because he was basically the most like WWE guy. And then he fucking grew on everybody. It's amazing how that could just happen. Like, hey, give a guy a chance to impress you. So, they won with the kingdom coming out. So, uh, the addiction picks up the win. God, so bad. I just want to call them bad influence. <laughs> Because I fucking love that name in TNA. Even though TNA... That's the thing. TNA used them, but not as well as they're being used right now. Like, I never thought they'd be the champions for this song. And the name of their finish is the greatest shit ever. Celebrity Rehab. Like, that's fucking hilarious. Coming out with the Venom on the tights. Yo, fucking Venom. That's my boy right there. It's an actual combo with Yusuke, by the way. Don't ask me why I know an actual combo in this game. Yusuke, you were actually got shot in the head. So, yeah. It was good to see Future Shock for one day, but I really like Red Dragon a whole lot more as a team. So, I was hoping they wouldn't win. So, fucking, they got uh, Chris Saban out there, too. I'm a big fan of Saban. I hope he's actually okay after that whole, like, thing. Uh, he was on commentary. He was hilarious, by the way. He's addicted to the addiction. He's addicted to the addiction. I really hope that whole thing about him not being able to wrestle anymore for his neck is like, uh, uh, like a joke. I really hope that's not true because that would be a fucking shame. This guy was amazing. I love it when he had the, the douche gimmick going in TNA with um his girlfriend at the time, Velvet Sky. It was awesome. He's so douchey. I loved it. Because uh, Velvet Sky's entrance would be like she would shake her butt and stuff, let the pendants loose. Shouts out to Taz. But fucking, he would get in the way and be like, nah, you're not seeing my girlfriend's butt. That's my butt. I think she dates Bully Ray now, which is weird after they just fucking return on WWE. Maybe we can see Velvet Sky in WWE. That would be, oh my Frieza, you spamming piece of shit. This is why no one likes you with your gold-plated comeback. I swear to oh. <laughs> so yeah, the match was fucking awesome. It, had a, it started off slow, but it had a lot of crazy spots. Uh, fucking everyone and their mom comes out. They had a, actually a sick way, four-way submission. Everyone, all four guys had a submission on each other. Uh, Daniels had the Koji Clutch. Kazarian was stuck in the figure four, but then he reversed the figure four on Adam Cole! Uh, so that was really sick. I really enjoyed that. I was like, holy crap, that was different. They usually do that with suplexes, like you'll see like a super mega quadruple suplex spot, but that was pretty sweet to see that with submissions. And, oh, okay, okay, okay. let's take a moment of silence for Maria, because oh my god, that woman. Oh my god. I literally do not remember her looking that amazingly fine in WWE. I always liked her in WWE, but do not remember her looking that good looking. Fucking Mike Bennett, you son of a bitch. Triple H is here, he would take her and be like, Ooh, Michael Bennett, that there's my woman. She's coming home to the game. Uh, I want a Triple H, Michael Bennett match so bad. Ever since I saw this guy debut, I always said he reminded me a lot of Triple H, like young Triple H, like my time. Same thing with Bobby Roode. I always thought Bobby Roode was like a perfect reincarnation of Triple H too. So yeah, we got the Cole super kick, we got all that. Fucking, uh, every tag team, uh, the kingdom is out there, the addiction, the red dragon comes out, cause, uh, fucking, uh, his tag team partner, the other one, uh, Bobby Fish comes out, Bobby Fish is the shit, by the way, I can't wait for a singles match with Jay Lethal, and, uh, 
Yeah, so pretty much a uh, pretty good episode of ROH. Not bad. Uh, definitely not their best, but pretty entertaining. I enjoyed it. Like, the tag team match in the end was awesome. I could have done without the Bloodbound Warriors. They were, oh, fuck it. Oh, shit. Yeah. To marry him, duh. Who doesn't know that anime? I like bananas. So, yeah. I don't think. They have, they have some stuff going. Uh, I really I really wanted to see more of AJ Styles. I know he's not really an ROH guy. But I love New Japan so much. New Japan is my favorite, comp like, second favorite company right now. It's like NXT, New Japan, ROH, and then whatever WWE does, <laughs> really. So, yeah, that's uh, ROH for this week. Uh, I guess I'll start reviewing NXT soon. And catch you guys next time. Peace out. And I'm glad Yusuke Urameshi lives. This is an